Here again at NAM 2019 with our good friend Pepan from Eastman Guitars. What have you got to show us? Well, as always, we try to do uh, an interesting line of instruments, okay. and uh, I hope we have succeeded. The first thing I want to talk to you about is our brand new line of acoustic double tops, the double top series. Uh, the first thing that everybody has, what's a double top? Because they look uh, like regular traditional guitars sure. and there's one really uh, very one thing that makes a big big difference okay, yes yeah. so if I can show you this the double top the word itself says it's it's a double top but obviously if we would use two separate Sitka or Adirondack spruce tops It'd it be would dead. be yeah it would be dead and it would be too thick so what we did is we take a really thin a slice of uh, Sitka spruce and another one and in the middle the pattern that you see over here it is it's called a Nomax honeycomb pattern it's paper thin and it comes from the uh, NASA technology it's on the space shuttle actually right. it's the sort of paper it's really strong and very light so the two tops they are vacuum sealed together that makes uh, a really light a really good vibrating top and the result is it amplifies the sound. Really? So it just gives you much more sound than, than a regular Eddie Rondek or Sitka Spruce Top. I have boldly said, and I know it's a very bold state because there are many beautiful acoustic guitars, but this might possibly the best, be the best sounding acoustic guitar out there. That is a bold statement. Yeah, it is a bold statement, but sometimes you gotta be bold. You gotta do it. So we got three models, and first I'll take you over the, the specs on this one. So this got the double top, uh, ebony uh, bridge and every fingerboard, rosewood back and side, so nothing new there. No. Interesting here, we have a Honduran mahogany one-piece neck, and the neck is hand-carved, so we make it from scratch, a big bowl of mahogany, Honduran mahogany, and then it's 30% lighter than a regular acoustic guitar or our regular necks. Yeah. So if you feel this, it's yeah. a really light oh, yeah. guitar and it's vibrant and it sounds just so full. I mean, yeah. Would be well, lovely to let you guys hear how it yeah. actually sounds impossible. So we have to wait for the Peach video. We'll do it, we'll be there. We got a Dreadnought, yeah. we got an OM and we've got a Grand Auditorium, the love baby of the Dreadnought and the OM. Yeah, of course. Uh, with a cutaway for a different kind of player. Yeah. Anthem in there is that? Yeah, there's yeah. an LR Bax Anthem built-in and different kind of uh, uh, tuners. These are the Gotos with the uh, Ebony Packs and here. Very here good. you can see, by the way, the beautiful grain oh, yeah. on the Honduran mahogany. Lovely. So this is, uh, this is the acoustic double top series. Okay. Next to that, we've got a big and bold, jumbo. big and bold jumbo. One of my favorite guitars. Uh, has always been the jumbo and yeah a lot of the times when you use rosewood on a jumbo yeah where do you yeah, go it's no, low that's right. so with yeah. maple incredible incredible looking Big maple yeah. this is all built also the, do the double top series in our master luthier shop so within Beijing we have a separate shop where more experienced builders with be more uh, beautiful timbers put these instruments together uh, you can see it on the inlays on the bridge Amazing, the bed yeah. guard finishes it off so cool. if we move over there to the yeah. electric side so the t50 now yeah we need it we, we're trying to add new colors every 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 other year because uh we started out with the classic and the amber last yeah. year we had the antique classic uh this year we we entered the antique black you have the antique yeah. you you received that that, that sb59 t59 antique red uh, we changed a little bit of the the the, the pick guard to make it fit better and we designed a new headstock slightly smaller than the one that we had yeah. uh, it's not better or worse but we thought it was Aesthetic just a little bit more uh, in, in balance with the with the body yeah. Seymour Dinkin uh, antiquities here I've been using this word uh, more and more in uh, in, 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 in uh, during my video shoots today this is the Swiss army knife we call it because it's uh, of course you remember that uh, beautiful T184 the, Absolutely. Uh, the, the gold burst uh, doing very well at yeah. you guys but that's an all solid instrument yeah. without a center block. This is a laminate with a center block, 14 inch. It's got a Seymour Duncan uh, 
59 in the bridge and a jazz in the, the rhythm position, just like the T486. Uh, also, smaller designed uh, pick guard. We used a small headstock. That looks great. And we have, uh, yeah, it's just light and the balance on this is, and uh, it's a Swiss Army knife. You can do anything if it you're in a, in a. Incredibly in a, well finished, it's beautiful. Yeah, the classic color does so really well. Yeah. That's the only color we offered this one in because the color is just, yeah, our, our signature oh, style. Uh, nitrocellulose finish, limited edition, our first electric limited edition of this year, 40 pieces only in, uh, in the UK, or in Europe, sorry, uh, 60 pieces in the US. It's the SB59 limited black zebra pearly gates, got two Seymour Duncan pearly gates, we needed to give a little pay a little tribute to uh, yeah. Billy F. Gibbons, so that's, that's what we needed to do, so yeah, and I love double zebras, yeah, I mean, especially amazing. on a black one. Yeah. So nitro gloss finish, SB59 gold top. One of the funniest things with our solid colors is that often you can see the grain That's and the right. flame We've through them. That, yeah. That's because we finished them so thin, thin that you can see the grain. And, and it actually, at first, the shop asked me uh, when, the, when they did the first one, do you want it all solid? Do we should we cover everything yeah. or do you want to see it? I said, let's see it because yeah. the all solid no, ones are already yeah. there. Did I see there was some new um, limited trio of some acoustics over we move there into well. yeah. the acoustic trio last year it was a huge success with uh, the small body guitars i wanted to do something with the uh, with the slope shoulder and this is the outcome eddie rondek top sapella back and sides all solid the fire the, the 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 fire stripe guard from mario pro made in, uh, in in canada also made by hand by the way ebony bridge ebony fingerboard vintage style tuners comes with the gig bag there will be a hundred of these sets in uh, of these instruments uh, in Europe, and they come in in, 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 in in a trio. So there's the classic E1 SS LTD in the classic color. We've got it in the natural color, and we've got a double O SS V slope shoulder model. And all of the three guitars have a Fishman Sony yeah, tone as well. That, yeah. Joe, perhaps you can film the label. Yeah, the label. Looks because beautiful. this is this is number one of 250 so 150 stay in the US 100 coming to Europe yeah this is another addition in our uh, gypsy jazz guitar line it's the DM2 uh, well nobody can tell me that this doesn't look like an old guitar no. it really really has everything an old guitar has it smells like one <laughs> it's got the the antique natural varnish. So this yeah. is the first one we ever did in a natural. So a really aged, orangey, natural top. And what is different from the DM1, which we introduced last year, is that it's got a walnut neck. Right, okay. So we got a walnut neck. Uh, so this is really up to spec when it comes to the original Selmers yeah, from the 1920s. Yeah. I know, I know, I know Peach is not particularly a, a mandolin no. store, although you might sell a few, but this is something else. This is this is taking the mandolin uh, out of the bluegrass ages and 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 catapults it straight into the 21st yeah. century. It's a solid body, mahogany, all solid. We routed out two chambers, put in the F holes. So there's a big center block. There's a maple top, and Jason Lawler, uh, especially designed. I'm not going to word use the word custom because I used them up last I know. year. So it's a specially designed Lollar. This is the only humbucker Lollar ever did for a mandolin. Right, and the good thing with yeah. this, you can use it on a tube amp with pedals. So yeah. suddenly, yeah, you a have all world, kinds whole of- A different world. Yeah, yeah a bad, new world, sounds. delays, reverbs. Everything. That's very cool. Okay, so we want to say thanks to Pepin for running us through all the new stuff. I tell you all to come in and try some Eastman guitars and maybe even a mandolin. He might twist my arm. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank you.